this is the burnt remnants of a runaway fire that has scorched some of the finest viticultural land in South Africa, leaving a trail of devastation in its path. Over 3,000 hectares of vineyards have been destroyed, including vintages that are over 18 years old, leaving tons of grapes to cook in their own sap. Heinrich Prince from the Hrunov estate surveys the damage caused to his grapes. His vines have been largely untouched, at least for the time being. The damage here is ex extensive uh, because why uh, our farm next door, our neighbors, uh, they have a lot of burned down vineyards and we have just a small bit, but the, the bushes, the, the, the fire is in our bushes now, it's starting to our vineyards now. So it's quite extens extensive there. Water bombers are battling strong winds and bad visibility, but the fire continues to spike, meaning the help is certainly needed. The wine produced by these farms are of the finest quality and are exported all over the world. But with extensive damage to their cultivars, their wine may now be in short supply. It is a concern that our vintage vineyards yeah, are burning down. So um, it's, it's a wine that that it's vintage and we use it for, for uh, quality wines. So it, it will be a problem if all the vineyards are burning down. Sort of the wineries like Canoncop and Telema have been some of the worst affected and whatever can be salvaged will certainly need some intervention. There are a few things scientifically that could be done to manipulate um, the wine to make it taste better and prevent the smokiness. Um, less skin contact, for example, enzymes, um, and also making wines that are sort of to be drunk earlier because of what happens is that the, wi the wine actually during maturation process, that smoke taint increases. For now, there are around 70% of the fires are under control, but with high winds abound, that could change for the worse at any time. It's too early to tell the full extent of the damage, but it does seem significant and comes at a time of drought, which should make this year's harvest that much more difficult. Gavis Andrews, CCTV, Stellenbosch.